Hi, welcome to Art Fun with Mrs. Lombardo. Today we're going to learn about abstract artist Paul Klee. Let's get started. Paul Klee was a Swiss abstract artist. Abstract art is a style of art that uses colors, shapes, forms, and textures to represent an image. An abstract artist uses their emotions and imagination to represent an image instead of showing the way something actually looks. Paul Clay used bright colors and textures in a grid formation. Paul Clay defined his art as taking a line for a walk. To make a painting in the style of abstract artist Paul Clay, we will need a piece of paper and a black crayon. To begin, we will need to divide our paper into a grid. You could use a ruler and measure around the edges to make your grid, or you can simply fold your paper. Match up the corners and crease the paper. Do this a couple of times and open it back up. Then fold your paper the other way. Match up the corners and fold it a couple of times. Continue this process as many times as you like to create a grid. Find an inspiration for your artwork. I decided to draw a picture that represents my cats. To make this Paul Clay abstract style cat, I am going to use a variety of shapes and forms to represent the cat. Draw along with me. Now that I have my abstract cat, drawn onto my grid, I have to decide how I'm going to add some color. I could use markers or watercolors. What if you don't have watercolors at home? Well, there's a good solution to that. You can make your own. Follow along with me and make some watercolors for yourself. To make your own watercolors using old markers, First, I went through my marker box and found all the markers that weren't working well anymore. And I placed them in a couple tablespoons of water. If you have more than one marker that's not working, try doubling them up in the cup. Let them sit overnight and you will end up with this the next day. Watercolor is simply water with pigments of color added to it. By placing the marker into the water, what little ink was left went into the water and became watercolor. Watercolor is great because it's see-through. It's translucent. You can see what's underneath and it will create a great background for our crayon resist that we're making with our abstract picture. Here are just a few of the colors I made using my old markers. Another idea for making your own watercolors is to use the markers that you have that are still working well. Simply add a couple strokes of color to your paper and then apply water. Just like paint with water, your marker will blend and create color. Add enough water to make the color flow, but don't add so much that your picture begins to wrinkle or tear. If you rub too much in the same spot, you may end up with a hole. So be gentle. 
Here are a few of the colors that my markers made when I applied water. Go experiment with your old markers and see what you can make. Now let's get back to painting our abstract picture. You might like to listen to some music. Music helps bring about feelings, emotions, happiness, maybe a little bit sad depending on the song. You decide what kind of song you want to listen to and what colors they remind you of. Red might be an exciting song, something that's loud with a good beat. Blue might be something sad or slow. Green might be a peaceful song. Depends on what the colors say to you. The colors you choose will depend on the emotions the song brings about for you. Now, we also want to think about the grid. In order to follow along with the grid, you might want to outline some of the spaces. I'm gonna use a marker on some of mine and try to use that same color in several spots. Once you're done with that color, move along to a new color and place it in several places. Make your lines thick in some areas and thin in others. It'll give it some interesting texture if you only color in one part of the box versus the whole box on the grid. Once you've filled in your space with some marker, then you can pull out your paints. The areas where I put marker, I'm going to simply paint with plain water. Move the marker color around to fill in the spaces to get the desired look. This will help add texture as the paint bleeds across the paper. Add a little bit more water and fill in your next space. Be sure to rinse your brush well if you're changing to a new color area, because if you blend a color too much with a different color, it may become muddy. Remember not to rub your paper too much in one spot because you don't want to form a hole in your paper. Continue doing each grid box on your drawing until it's filled in. If you made your own watercolor paint, you can use it as well. Apply it to the marker area. Until your entire picture is filled. Some of the colors will bleed a little bit and blend into one another. That's fine. It makes it a little more interesting. Let's continue listening to our music as we finish our painting. After painting over my marker lines with water, I applied some of the homemade watercolor paint that I made using old markers. Once my painting was dry, 
I thought it would be best to go back and paint some of my shapes again to add a little more color and contrast. If you have a few drips, that's fine. It makes a nice texture once it dries. Here's a few more drips that I had. Overall, I think the painting turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this Paul Clay style abstract painting. As a challenge, why don't you try making a grid and adding letters or numbers? Or maybe make a different type of picture. Instead of an animal, you can make your favorite food or even a self-portrait. I can't wait to see what wonderful things you make. Thanks for visiting Art Fun with Mrs. Lombardo. Try to do a little bit of art every day and share what you've learned with someone you love.